Hello students, welcome to the academia. Today, uh, our topic is some MCQs, uh, some remaining MCQs. Uh, the part 1 of MCQs has given in one video. Now, the next part of the MCQs uh, on respiratory system. Okay. So, number 6 is that, so one by one, I will discuss uh, the remaining MCQs. Okay. So, number 6 is that, mark the correct response. So, arterial PO2, 104 mm Hg, venous PCO2, which is 40 mm Hg, arterial PCO2, which is 40 mm Hg, or venous PCO2 that is 46 mmHg. So, which is the correct answer? Which option is correct? So, what do you think? So, the correct answer is the arterial PCO2 which is 40 mmHg. Now, moving to number 7. Not true, particles falling on walls of the bronchi are prevented going to alveoli by. So, bronchi which... Uh, uh, after the bronchi there are um, bronchioles and then the alveoli. So, uh, the alveoli is which having very thin uh, membranes. So, the things uh, falling on the walls of the bronchi are prevented going to alveoli by. Uh, the answers are bronchoconstriction, then coughing, ciliary, accelerator, action and tissue macrophage system. So, here the answer will be tissue macrophage system. Basically, the ciliary movement is also uh, done and all the things that is bronchoconstriction, coughing, all the things occur. But uh, uh, the not true particles falling on walls of the bronchi are prevented. So, this is not the true answer. The true is bronchoconstriction, coughing or ciliary accelerator movement. So, all these things actually happen to remove the particle to going to alveoli. Next, number 8, false statement regarding dust cells in the lung. So, which one is the false statement here? A, also called PAM cells. B, actively phagocytic cells. C, process inhaled antigens for immunological attack. D, originally come from the blood. So, which is the false thing? So, the false answer is originally come from the blood. Basically, um, uh, these uh, um, things are not come from the blood. Next, pulmonary functional unit is alveolus, terminal bronchiole, respiratory bronchiole or alveolar duct. So, number 9 is alveolus which is pulmonary functional unit. Number 10, contraction of smooth muscle in respiratory tract occurs in response to the following except irritation of bronchial mucosa, stimulation of local beta adrenoreceptors, a decrease in the PCO2 in the bronchial air or a cold stimulus to the bronchial mucosa. So, which will be the answer? That is, the smooth muscle contraction in respiratory tract occurs in response to all the things, but uh, one is exceptional. That is, number B, that is stimulation of local beta adrenoreceptors, which was not done during that process. Number 11, true about non cholinergic, non adrenergic nerves to lungs. A. Its stimulation reduces bronchoconstriction. B. These nerves get stimulated by irritants and chemicals. C. Decreases bronchial secretions. And D. Their activity is either deficient or absent in bronchial asthma patients. So, which is the right answer? Which is true? It is D. Their activity is either deficient or absent in bronchial asthma patients. Okay. Moving to 
question number 12 false statement regarding the plural fluid a a serous lubricating fluid b normal amount 30 to 35 ml c adhesive and non expansible in nature d keeps the two plural together so the answer will be which statement is false the false statement is that the normal amount is 30 to 35 ml next the next one the partial pressure of water vapor in the lungs increases with hyperventilation is relatively constant with changes in altitude is proportional to the co2 concentration or becomes negative when barometric pressure falls below 47 mmhg so the answer will be is relatively constant with changes in altitude number 14 the maximum particle size that reaches the alveoli is is it 15 mu m or 10 mu m 5 mu m 2 mu m so the answer is 2 mu m okay next number 15 substances not filtered in pulmonary circulation blood clots cancer cells plasma proteins gas bubbles so the answer is plasma proteins so they are actually not filtered in pulmonary circulation number 16 absorption of co2 and uh, absorption of O2 and removal of CO2 from the body as a whole is called what? External respiration, internal respiration, cellular respiration or transport of gases in blood. So it is actually called external respiration. Next question. True about respiratory bronchiole is contains no alveoli, some exchange of gases is possible across them, extends from the trachea up to sixth and contains cartilage. So which one? It is B. Some exchange of gases is possible across them. Next 18. Not true of conducting zone of tracheobronchial tree. So conducting zone of tracheobronchial tree have some characteristics. Uh, among them some, some characteristics is not true. Find out that one. Includes an air passage where no exchange of gases is possible. Extends from the nose and mouth up to terminal bronchioles. Total capacity of this zone is 500 ml. Also called as dead space. So answer will be C. Total capacity of this zone is 500 ml. It is not true. 19. False statement regarding structure through which oxygen must diffuse in passing from alveolar lumen to hemoglobin. A. Surfactant containing liquid. B. Alveolar membrane basement membrane. C. Capillary endothelium, plasma and RBC membrane. D. Its thickness 1.5 mu m. So which one is the false statement regarding the structure through which the oxygen must diffuse? And it is the thickness of that. Alveolar lumen is not thick. 1.5 mu m. It is much less thick than that. The last question is which is not a feature of partial pressure of gas. So it is the pressure exerted by any one gas in a mixture of gases. B. Diffusion of gases depends on it. C. Determines the amount of gas dissolved in any solution. And D. Not affected by presence of water vapors. And this is the right answer D that is not affected by presence of water vapors. 
So these are uh, the remaining MCQs of uh, the system, uh, part 1 MCQs of the respiration or the respiratory system. Hope this uh, will help you in preparation of uh, coming competitive examinations and also help to um, understand um, basic uh, things regarding the respiratory tract. Hope you people can understand. We uh, will come with uh, more MCQs of this system. Till then, 